good yo-yo people. I'm Nate, and this is Let's Talk Yo-Yo. Today, I am reviewing The Cadence by SF Yo-Yos. This is my review of The Cadence. This is the in the hand section. As usual, this is what I talk about, what the yo-yo feels like in the hand before I throw it, the construction of it, all that stuff. Um, all right, so uh, this is The Cadence by SF Yo-Yos. I have reviewed everything from SF, from everything of theirs and collaborations of theirs. So I am very familiar with SF Yo-Yos um, and I like their yo-yos and they put out really good yo-yos. Um, and so, this is their second signature yo-yo from Kieran Cooper. And, um, and so this is Cooper's signature yo-yo. And this yo-yo has gone through a ton of prototyping. And so what you have here is something that has been really well thought out, perfected to Cooper's style, and exactly, I think, I would assume, exactly what he wants. I got to play a prototype. I'm not sure what number of prototype it was at East Coast Masters uh, a few months back. Um, really enjoyed it. I did not get to play a production run until I got this one. And um, there's a few differences I can tell right away just from what I remember that um, it's a little bit more nimbly feeling, um, has a little lighter weight feel than um, on the play. So we'll talk about that more when we get to that. But um, it is a V shape yo yo. It has sort of that. V-shaped, sort of H-shaped hybrid thing going for it, though, as well. Um, lots of weight on the rims. Uh, you can tell from just even the looks of the design itself. Um, it has fairly deep cups in it as well. A nice flat catch zone, so you could probably pull off some finger spins there, but nothing centering or gimmicky or anything like that. Really nice, really nice catch zone. Um, this is going to be really decent for horizontal type tricks um, where you're gonna have a lot less string drag. You have um, a couple interesting steps here um, within the gap. No wall whatsoever, but you have it kind of flared out. And so there's a little bit of a step, so there's very little string drag there um, until you get to this hub, uh, this little bump right here. And so um, overall, I mean, it's a very simple, fairly straightforward design that's kind of SF really doesn't do anything super gimmicky or complicated. They just make really solid yo-yos, um, and, and this is no exception. Very straightforward design, but just it, even in the hand, it has a really nice light feel to it. The matte, it has that classic matte finish on it. Really nice gray, really cool fade that uh, I saw. That's like a triple fade. That looks really nice as well. Uh, so anyways, really nice. Um, Super comfortable in the hand. It's a good size. It's kind of a nice in between. It's not oversized. It's not, you know, undersized. It's a nice, just kind of full size. Has a nice width to it. Um, fairly wide, you know. So that that gap, that catch zone is huge. It's really flared out. Um, and yeah, I like I like the looks of it. Really clean straightforward design. I think it's going to play really well, but let's go and actually play it and uh, we'll talk about what it feels like on the string. Welcome back to the on the string section with the Cadence by SF Yo-Yos. It's no, um, I've, I've always been impressed by SF Yo-Yos. Everything that they put out um, is, it's well thought out but it's also simple and straightforward. There's no gimmicks. It's just they make really good yo-yos that play really well, are very affordable, and um, are just straight to the point. Like, you want a good yo-yo? This is it. You should buy it. Like, and I feel like that approach has really worked really well for them. This uh, it has an interesting feel in the string. It definitely has a lighter feel. Um, I feel like I could push this through, like, faster combos and so on if I actually played fast. 
Um, but I, it, it has some deceptively long spin times. It reminds me of the Elite in that way. Very light um, on the specs. Now this actually isn't super, super light. I've said this before in some of my reviews for signature yo-yos, that it has to be difficult for a yo-yo maker to make a yo-yo, yes, that fits one of their player's styles, but something that's gonna be marketable, that everyone's gonna wanna buy. And so, like, cause not everyone plays like that particular person or gravitates the type of tricks that they throw, you know? And so, if you play like Cooper, then, you know, all the more power to you. But SF has done a really good job, I believe, at finding some middle ground for this yo-yo, that it's, I believe it's it fits exactly uh, Kieran's style and his preferences. It's also going to be appealing to a wide array of people. All right, let's go ahead and throw a trick. I meant to do that. <laughs> um, I really like this yo-yo. And let's be honest, you probably get sick of me saying that in reviews. Now when I review, um, I don't necessarily review a yo-yo based on my personal likes and dislikes as much. I do that sometimes, but I mostly am looking for whether the yo-yo itself um, achieved its goal and its aim for what it was intending for to do. So if it was meant to be a competition-driven yo-yo and it succeeded at that, then yay, good. If it was meant to be relax and organic and whatever then and it achieved that then good but if it didn't then i'm gonna probably say something uh, this yo-yo i think achieved exactly what they wanted what kieran wanted um and i think i, I think that um it's a, just a good yo-yo feels really nice it's competition driven um it but it's also for somebody like me who doesn't really compete it's also nice and lightweight um, it does things like horizontal really well. It really keeps that plane really well. Um, it does finger spins fairly well as well. Really, it's a really good grind surface. It, it keeps a really nice uh, balance feel to it. The balance of this yo-yo is really nice. Definitely another win from SF Yo-Yos. This the cadence is a solid yo-yo, and um, it definitely is unique, but also straightforward enough. Um, this is exactly like something I would expect from SF Yo-Yos. It fits their brand. It's very straightforward design, but it also plays this really well. It um, it's smooth, it's long spinning, it has that nice nimble feel to it, and uh, it's a win. So that's my review of the Cadence by SF Yo-Yos, and as usual, good day and good yo-yo.